Hi, ChatGPT is not only good at finding public data, but it's also good at parse unstructured data. Remember, a lot of times we copy unstructured data from somewhere, paste it in your Excel or some text editor. You end up with a lot of processing about removing special characters, using some splitters to separate the you know data into the columns. Spanish is uh, uh, at last they just put them in Excel to visualize them or further analyze them. But today I'm telling you, um, ChatGPT actually is very good at parsing unstructured data. I tried Google Bot as well. I mean, it works well. But today let's talking about ChatGPT. Uh, we're using that to you know to parse the unstructured data and visualize it right away. So I'm showing you how uh, it works. For example, right here. We have uh, you know some tweets. Uh, this is basically some kind of unstructured data because it's a name, colon, then percentage values, right? Usually, you take a long time to uh, you know parse and process this data before you can uh, analyze and uh, visualize it. But today, I'm showing you using ChatGPT, we can actually just one copy paste uh, and one click, you get everything in a visual way as a result. Oh, I have trouble to select it. Let me. So select all of the, the, the tweets content, copy, uh, paste here. I give you a title as what the Twitter title says, implement uh, read, right? So what I do is I just paste this unstructured data. I mean, it looks like have some pattern structure, but it's unstructured. So if you, we do visualize and this wait, uh, we send the request to ChatGPT server and ask it to pass in as structured data and come back. So then we can visualize it. During this time, we don't do anything. We just wait. Uh, if the ChatGPT API is faster, then we don't need to wait so long. But today, we have to bear with it. Uh, while I'm talking, the result is already come back. So we get an unemployment rate as uh, as you can see, this is like a top country. And we can quickly do switch to world map. Like you can just switch map. And you can see uh, this is the whole thing uh, rendering each country's like unemployment in a, um, in a discrete coloring same way. But if you want to make it a sequential way, you can just click. Um, and uh, we can just like, you know, compare the palette. I mean, setting the palette for that. So basically, we can do, um, let's just flip. Let's say yellow is high, right? And uh, green is, uh, oh, sorry, reverse. Yellow is high and uh, uh, green is low. Pretty much, I mean, most of the countries is green. I mean, it's not, a, it's not that a color friendly. Um, but if we choose a different, uh, you know, color sim, we actually can tell some better way. But for this data set, I, I, I would rather just using, you know, um, a bar to show the top 10, something like that. Um, yeah, I, I just want to show you one click copy paste from a data to a visualization. Hope you find it powerful and you don't need to uh, massage your data anymore. Thank you for watching.